Is that him? Is it, is that him? What's up everybody? Today we are snacking and reacting with Stephen Anthony Lawrence. We have five amazing drawers of goodies that are all, of course, beans themed. Should I be nervous? I'm a little nervous. Okay, are you ready for round one, drawer one? Born ready, let's do it. Okay, let's open it. It's a jelly bean. Yeah, so here's the thing. Some of these beans taste normal and some of them don't. So shake it on up and let's see which one we get. Um, what did you eat? I don't know, it tastes like, is it earwax? Booger. Yep, th that's a booger, all right. We just eat a booger bean. You know how, how even Stevens, they had to have that, that bucket for me to spit all the bacon into? Bacon? Is there something like that around here? <laughs> Are you sure? Beans, Beans, I was just telling these two guys, I was just telling them. There's a hole in my heart where beans used to be. A hole, beans. Do you remember this clip? I do. I, I remember one of the PAs had to, had to literally help me uh, like off the set because we spun that chair around like 10 times and I was like legitimately dizzy. So I just remember them like literally almost carrying me <laughs> to like the set chair after those takes. You were like the baby brother and everybody just loved to play with you, really. You were just like so fun to play with. Oh. Yeah, it was just such a relaxed set. It, I've never ever been on a set that relaxed. We'll go ahead and we'll open our second drawer to see what we are destined to eat next. You ready? Um, I'm scared. This looks like a, a Bean Jackson Pollock. I'm pretty sure it's either Barf or Tutti Frutti. Okay. Okay. Are you down for this? Christy, I'm trusting you. Hey, Bean! Step out of my way. All right, look at this. It's you and Cat in the Hat. Oh boy, here we go. What's wild was this is actually a, a set built out in Simi Valley. It was a whole neighborhood. They literally built in like 10 days. Oh, and there we go. By the way, Mike Myers would not trust me with a real bat. That's a, that's a fake bat. Took one look at me and said, no way, Buster Brown. I don't blame him though. So are, are we gonna try this? I'm, I'm, let's do it. I'm pretty sure that's barf. I'm guessing bubble gum. Is it barf? My barf does not taste like that. So you were saying that he did not trust you with a bat? He even had a full cup on. The set person brought out the, a real bat. He took one look at it, kind of went behind a bush. I, I heard some screaming. Definitely not some Dr. Seuss friendly language. Are you ready for either canned dog food or like a, maybe like a chocolate or like something like that? We're gonna find out. Only one way. <sighs> we doing it? Let's do it. Oh. I think based on your reaction, I did not get the same flavor as you. Oh, I got. Holy. That's a, yeah. So I think that's dog, dog food. That's no. <laughs> that's a no, that's a no dog. Let's play tag. Tag, tag. Well, it's been a little while since I played tag, but. Oh, this is Amanda's show, oh no. I think this might have been before Even Stevens. Yes, this was. This was even before Even Stevens was. Oh my gosh, I was a baby. You were a baby. Look how innocent I was. <laughs> well, I apologize for making you eat canned dog food, apparently. I was the one I, I mean, either I really like canned dog food or that was chocolate. I'm not quite sure. It definitely was not chocolate. It was chocolate dog food. Okay, from Kelly Patterson, Kelly asked, hey, how did you get involved with acting and what was your first job? So my parents kind of got me in this kind of musical theater thing where, you know, you would do the musical theater and then you'd go and kind of serve the people like dinner, lunch or whatever. And then I started doing commercials. First commercial I ever booked, it was a South Pack Bell commercial. I, would be, I was like maybe four and, um, Throughout the whole commercial, I just had to drink a bunch of a bunch of soda. That's so funny. Yeah, they, they should not have let that this little little kid drink that much soda because I had to pee every like four takes. They really didn't plan that out well. <laughs> Steven, are you ready for our fourth drawer? Behind door number four. I love how game you are. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's orange. This is a spicy bean. Okay, I can do spicy. Oh my God. 
Oh yeah, I actually had to learn how to rollerblade here. Like, I, I booked the roll and I lied about learning, knowing how to rollerblade. Oh, you did? <laughs> I wanted the roll, hey, you know. Go, go ahead and eat your bean, you ready to eat your bean? Yeah, let's do it, let's do the bean. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little spicy, but it's good. I'm gonna have a second. Ha, ha, sh <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll eat yours, don't worry. The really cool thing though, that we were able to do for this was um, I did pretty much all the stunts except the, the actual jump over to the chandelier. They wouldn't let me do that because I was a minor. Had the whole bottom floor uh, matted, right? All the kids are doing backflips off of that second story railing there onto the mats on the second, <laughs> on the first floor. That stunt is crazy. Yeah. Almost as crazy as putting a jelly bean, spicy jelly bean in your mouth and trying to talk. Do you need some water? No, I'm good. We shot this. I, I, I'd use some okay. water for that dog food. I'm good with spicy. I'm a, you know, my mom's family's Italian. I'm Italian too. What? So Louis C wants to know, Stephen, do you remember being the grand marshal for uh, a parade in San Antonio? I do. The, the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. We were actually uh, hosted by this uh, by a local family, and they just took us to a bunch of the local spots that you know the tourists don't don't know about. My Spanish is. Uh, Petito. But not enough to to have a conversation. That's pretty cool. Hey, how do you say beans in Spanish? Frijoles. Frijoles. I learned that. Of course, frijoles. Went. To, I went to go visit a, a a school out here, and that's how I learned. All the kids were screaming frijoles. I'm like, what's a frijole? <laughs> We have one more drawer and I'm not excited about it because it's another spicy bean. In fact, it's the spiciest of all the beans. Let's go get this bean. Carolina something. Oh, it's a Carolina Reaper. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do two. <laughs> it's so spicy. We have got to get beans out of here. Oh, it's the, the Close Encounters. Yes, what was this? So you had a little stunt here. Oh, that was so much fun to film. I remember we shot that on a green screen too. We all shot that on like this little um, little rig where, you know, the camera's on one side and we're all kind of on this dolly and we're pulling this thing. So that's how we kind of get that effect there. You know what's crazy? This is probably how the stunt was actually done in ET. It's probably like very, very similar. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I'm just sitting there on this thing, like standing and go, ah. <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but we had this one time that Shia was um, wearing a helmet and he did like a whole scene and Disney had us reshoot the scene because his helmet wasn't buckled. That's right. Oh, now I remember that. Yes, we had to do some retake. Yeah, they were very particular about the way that we did our stunts. And you know, obviously we did a lot of stunts but this was a lot of fun. I gotta watch even Stevens again. We might have to do another reunion. Dude, no, we just need to do a reboot. Okay guys, comment below if you wanna see a reboot. Username refrigerate after opening, uh, points on being inventive there, um, has asked you, have you ever gotten tired of being called beans or frijoles or whatever else in other languages people call you? <laughs> You know, honestly, I, I, I think it depends on the person. If you're cool, you know, come up, hey, do you mind if you sign something? Of course, dude. I, I really think most people are gonna be like that. However, if, if you sit there and just do the... Is that him? Is it? Is that him? Most people are gonna be like, okay, enough. Just come, say something. <laughs> Don't just sit there and stare. For real, I know what you mean. It is, it's all about the approach. Just be as respectful as you can and everything should go good. I wanna thank Stephen Anthony Lawrence for being on the show and being such a great trooper. He is such a gem and he needs to be popping up everywhere just as he has. Where can we find you? You can find me on Cameo with Koji. I am currently doing um, acting lessons. Catch me on Rice and Beans talking about everything going on in the world right now. And I was, I was just a guest on your podcast and it was so much fun. You guys are so intelligent and I really enjoyed being on that. Thank you for coming on. I, I know it's, the show is not very Disney friendly, but you know, it's thank you for coming on. Oh, <laughs> we don't need to worry about that. We're, you know, we, we are now adults and we are still family. So thank you so much, Steven. I adore you, I love you, I hope to see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the notification button and the like button, and most importantly, that subscribe button. Bye, see you soon. Peace.